Okay, so here we are in the lab. This is uh, a Tron PCB from Wicked Bass on the forums. Uh, great guy. And this is the air I'm getting. If I can spin it this way. It says... Oh, that's really awkward. Okay. It says ROM air, 03. <clears throat> and if you look at the ROMs themselves, uh, of course, they have labels on them. And one of the labels has a number. This one, for example, C2. C3, C4, C5, C6, C7. So the ROM error 03 means that C3 is the guy that's bad. Coincidentally, it's got a red marker on it. Um, one other thing to note is there's another label on these ROMs. Um, this one says PGA, PGB, uh, C, D, E, and F. And those correspond to the main ROMs. If you have a, a Tron 3 ROM set, um, which is this ROM set, it's actually Tron 3. Um, you'll notice that they uh, they are labeled the same way, so it's easy to um, check the data. So what we want to do now is um, hook the Fluke up to it. This is the Fluke uh, 9010A, and uh, it allows us to take control over the uh, the Z80 bus, so we can do checks on ROM, check its contents, we can check the RAM, make sure we can read and write to it, and all that other good stuff, do bus checks and other uh, interesting things. So. Uh, so we'll throw that on there and uh, be able to check out some of the contents of the ROM and make sure that it is uh, as it should be. Okay, before we can uh, check out the ROMs, we need to know where they lie in the address space. So if you look here in the main source, uh, it says that the ROM, the first ROM starts at location 0000 and is 8K, which is 2000 in hex deep meaning it starts at 0000 and goes to 1FFF. The next guy starts at 2000 in hex and ends at 3FFF. So, of course, uh, another cheat sheet here that shows all the ROMs and what their address maps are. Now, in order, to, uh, in order for the Fluke to do a signature check, um, it basically what it does is it reads the contents of the ROM, performs some kind of algorithm, and then spits out a value, very similar to a CRC check but it's not exactly the same. So um, what we need is a way to uh, run that same check on the main ROMs uh, so that we can know what we're looking for. And luckily, um, there is a program out there written by James Bright from quarterarcade.com, and he makes a Fluke FIDE, which is a GUI that allows you to write Fluke scripts, and you can send them to your Fluke through the ser uh, serial port and, and play around with it. It's very, very nice to work with. Um, and one, uh, one of the uh, features of it is that it can um, run through a directory of ROMs and generate the Fluke signatures, which I have here. So basically, I just took the Tron 3 ROM set uh, for MAME, ran the signatures on them, uh, or ran, ran this program on it, rather, and got all my signatures right here. So now that we ha know our signatures, what we expect to see, we can ask the Fluke to run uh, ROM tests on uh, the different ROMs and see what we get. So let's do that. We'll start with the very first ROM here, which is uh, at location 0000 to 1FFF. So basically we say, I want to do a ROM test. Uh, ROM test at what location? 0000 to 1FFF. And then it wants to note a signature. So let me look over my shoulder here. And it should be A3. A3CF. CF. Go. Oh, active force line. Basically what it's telling me is that the watchdog is barking. So do I want to loop? No. Let's actually tell it to ignore the, the watchdog. Uh, say no. So I can go into setup here. Uh, active force line. Set a trap on active force line. No. And that should, that should take care of that. Okay, let's try this again. At 0000 to 1 FFF. And again, the signature is A. 3, C, F, enter, and waiting. So it's got to read all the contents of that ROM and perform its algorithm. So go grab a coffee, make a sandwich, whatever, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when we're done. Hey, look at that. We're in good shape there. Uh, you can see a verified our signature. So the first ROM is good, which we expected, right? The ROM, uh, ROM 3, which is the next one that we suspect is bad. So let's look at the ad address here, the next one up is uh, B, uh, and that's the, that's the problematic one, 2000 to 3FFF. So we want to do ROM, 2000 
to 3 FFF. And let me grab the signature here. Signature should be FDB5. FDB5. And go. Again, this will take a little time. Well, that's no good. As we suspected, ROM error. Uh, if we press more, it'll say, okay, the signature that I got was 04 D6 and not FDB5. So, um, I mean, there could be something wrong with the control logic to this ROM. Um, but just for kicks, let's let's throw the ROM in uh, EEPROM uh, burner, which can also read, you know, the contents of the ROM. And we'll do a binary compare to the main ROM, and we'll see if it is indeed uh, a match or not. If it is a match, then it's the control logic. If it's wrong, then it's wrong, and we got to reprogram it. So let's just do that, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so here we have the contents for that ROM loaded up in a hex editor. Uh, this is actually called uh, FR Head or Free Hex Editor. You can find it on the web. So what I want to do is compare this. This is the uh, the one from Mame, so this should be the correct one. I want to compare this to what we read, um, and I can say Edit uh, Compare to the uh, the one we read. Ah, and we got two uh, bytes that are different. And if I say OK, it should highlight them for it. So there's one, and there's another one in here somewhere. So, but basically the problem is, you know, we've got we've got bad data here. So my plan is to erase this guy and just reprogram it, and then take it from there. If we still have problems, uh, you know, we'll 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 take a look at that. But at least we know right off the bat we've got bad ROMs to start with, or at least one of them. We'll go through the other ones too. I'll go through the other ones and see what's going on. Um, just for kicks, though, let's see what happens if I throw this ROM into MAME, uh, the one that we read actually from, from the board, and see if we get the same uh, fail signature. Okay, so here we have MAME32, and you can see here I have Tron. Notice Tron3 is not highlighted uh, with the blue, and that is because I believe if we do an audit, it says, yeah, you got bad CRC checks. So basically, it runs the, the um, CRC checks on the ROMs and, and knows that we have bad ROMs. But that's OK. We expected that. So we want to run them anyway. We'll see what happens. It'll probably give us a warning here. Yep, uh, expected ROM. Uh, bad, I'm sorry. Bad CRCs, expected CRCs, and all that stuff. So we'll run anyway, and we'll see how it looks. See if we get the same fail signature. Press any key, blah, blah, blah. ROM Air 3, just as we saw the monitor. So um, I'm hoping that's just it. We'll see in a minute. Um, we'll reprogram that guy. Actually, you can see here I have um, my EEPROM eraser uh, with the UV light on there. So it's ticking away. So we'll reprogram it and see what happens. OK, so I went ahead and reprogrammed that one ROM there. That is the one without the sticker on it. And I re-verified all the other ROMs that they matched the um, the contents of the ROM. I'm sorry, the Tron 3 ROM set, which they all did. Turned it on, and this is what we get. I can turn this here. So it looks like we are in good shape. Luckily, it was just a ROM issue, and I have to say, I think it's the first time I've ever had a bad ROM. Um, any other time, it's been you know the TTL that's gone bad, and I've had to replace uh, a chip or two. So. This is a first for me, but thankfully I didn't even have to pull out the soldering iron. It was a relatively easy fix here. And there you have it. Uh, next on deck is another Tron PCB. This is another one of Brian's that is Wicked Bass's um, PCBs that has, I believe, some graphics issues. And we're also going to be taking a look at another punch out that has some graphics issues as well. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. This is Tron.